What is going on YouTube? So when I'm coming at you with my revision on the XP system. Now myself and Bizzle did a video on our first impressions of the XP update. While it was still in pre-alpha, and needless to say, it didn't change squat. In fact, before it was updated again, as was predicted, the clans abused the absolute shit out of it. But hey, we were prepared for that. What we also predicted was that KOS would not be halted just because of the XP update. But what we didn't predict is that it may have actually worsened the KOSing. For example, in my last video, a clean beginning, it was suggested by Dosta that we should go out and Apex farm at the start of a wipe because a lot of the solo players and casual Rust players would not be above level 7, which is the level required to make a bow. So now not only is KOSing still a thing, but it's also taken away any means of a Newman defending his or herself for quite some time. Now I say quite some time because a Newman is going to die a lot at the start of a wipe, depending on the server they play, which is going to halt their XP grind. And that's another thing I want to address, XP grind. It was easy mode before due to the exploits, but now that the new updated version is out, it is such a fucking grind. Casual Rust players now have no chance unless they're in a team. If you're in a casual Rust group, you can bet your bottom dollar your most high-tiered weapon is going to be a crossbow for the rest of the wipe. Which, by the way, has been nerfed for the next update, so there's no more sprinting while reloading. It's now time for the hotbar crossbow spam, just like the pipies used to be. They fixed that for the better with longer draw times in the animation, so I think that's what should be done with the crossbow too. Anyway, back on track. I'm yet to test out the solo grind with the XP system, but I can already imagine from the amount of time it takes to level to the amount of time I personally play, that I will probably get maybe to level 15 in one wipe. So the best things that I'm going to get in order are Burlap clothes, small stashes, wooden armor, a furnace, a code lock, a bow and arrow, sheet metal doors, bucket helmets, large chests, crossbows, a ladder hatch, metal tools, handmade shells, ladders, gunpowder, med syringes, pants, a road sign kilt, a pipe shotgun, a bed, a shelf, and a large furnace. That's the stuff I'm going to have if my predictions are right. Now, it's all pretty nice stuff, but sheet metal doors are weak as fuck. One rocket and like 16 explosive bullets and they're through one door. That's all my petty crap gone to an easy raid because I doubt I'll be able to get to level 20 to get an armored door. These are just a few things that annoy me about the XP system, but there are also some things I do like about it. And funnily enough, one of the things I hate is also one of the things I like. It keeps early game early for longer. My qualm with early game staying around longer isn't the fact that it stays around longer, but that it stays around for too long, especially if you're a solo player or in a small casual group. I love the fact that I'm not hearing rockets and C4 going off within a couple of hours into the wipe. This is such an amazing step in the right direction. You know that your base, if well built, stands a chance for a good couple of days now. A lot of bases are going to be well built now, seeing as how much you have to grind to gain levels. A lot of people would normally just stop their base building once they had it secured and had the means of making weapons, but now they have to grind and you're going to see some pretty damn big solo player bases. Like, do you remember my Citadel build? That might be the norm for the solo player who plays more than just casual. Also, I think we're going to start seeing the elusive armored bases again, or at least uh, partly armored bases. We have a big buildup of high quality metal and we won't reach a level where we can actually spend it. And if we save it up to the point where we can, we're going to have a lot of weapons and armor. So we decided that we would spend ours on walls. I really do think Face Punch have taken a step in the right direction with the XP system, but obviously it's still in its infancy. Maybe give players a mean of uh, defending their base by lowering the level of the armored doors would be just one solution. Just with the simple shifting of a few items around the XP chart, I think the XP system could be a lot more enjoyable for everyone. I like that AK and Baltis are such a high level, but again, I don't like that armored doors are, especially when sheet metal is so weak. Whether that is due to intention or a bug, I don't know. Anyway, the XP system still has a lot of room for improvement, and I'm sure the guys at Face Punch are already working on ways to make it better and more enjoyable for everyone, and not just Zerg groups and smaller hardcore teams. The devs at Face Punch really are, you know, some of the best devs I've seen. 
they interact and listen to their player base, and for the most part, they are pretty on top of things. So I'm confident in saying that this XP system will turn out to be good. Anyway guys, if you liked my short little opinion on the uh, XP system, leave a like, and a comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you in the next video.